my name is Helen. I'm a pretty normal early 60s person. I love spending time with my family and friends, though I also enjoy time by myself. I've always been very passionate about social justice. To me, that just means that everyone has the opportunity to live their best life and not be held back by things like inequality or discrimination or prejudice in any way. In this first video, I share some of the challenges and barriers I experienced to moving out of the nursing home. I was in aged care for seven and a half years, so it was such a long span of time. When I was first there, I tried so hard to find something else. Eventually, I suppose I, for my own emotional well-being and some sense of sanity, I, I just gave up thinking about it. Thought, oh, it matters more for young people or it's not really something that I can achieve. So I got into this resignation, I suppose, is the right word. Of, this is where I have to be and, and that's probably where I'll be for the rest of my life, which was awful and I just tried not to think about it. And then one day I got this amazing phone call from someone who said, oh, there's this information session, are you interested? So I didn't even know that SDA existed and all that it was possible to have the type of apartment that I now have. I was in the nursing home and thinking, well, how will my support needs, my physical support needs in particular, be, be met by other people? I've been convinced by others over the last seven and a half years that, oh no, you have to be here. You know, we're, I mean, we're the only ones that can meet your support needs. So it was almost impossible to think how that, how that could happen through a group of rostered staff or what if someone doesn't turn up or how would I know that that's what I would need it at a particular time. It just arose your sense of confidence and sense of autonomy. You have to just say, well, look, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. People tell me it'll be fine. <laughs> and Because no use getting into an argument about it because you can't prove that it's going to be all right. It's like taking a leap of faith and you know that you'll need a lot of support to do things. And people try and describe how it works, but it's hard to really see what that will mean. I didn't know how I'd make sure there was food in the fridge or my bills were paid or make sure that I had the support I needed to get up in the morning or to go to bed at night, all those things. It was really important for me to find out about how things would work so that I could tell them so they felt comfortable and so they could re be really right behind me. And that confidence was really important. And so the next time someone asked me, I'll say, oh, I'm really looking forward to having a support worker who's going to come and, um, you know, help me, you know, cook the dinner I want and that sort of thing. So I was just able to dispel my own concerns and the concerns of the people around me.